The strong winds and heavy snow forcing Sierra at Tahoe Ski Resort to close early today. You can see our sky cam there being really knocked around by that wind. The resort didn't even get a chance to run the lifts with 50 mile an hour winds. Yeah, not ideal conditions. Caltrans warning against any and all travel to the high country today and tomorrow. Roads are just too slick with snow. Winds are blowing, as we talked about, making for dangerous travel. We caught up with one family in Nyack earlier today, headed up to Donner Ski Park. Not sure how their day was going to go. Listen. Yeah, I love it. I got everything. I got my board, pants, everything. Helmet. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm going to sit in the car a lot. I saw the weather up here. It's 19 degrees. <laughs> I'm going to sit in the car a lot. I like that. <laughs> Caltrans says extra crews out with the plow trucks, but with snow falling in the lower elevations, too, they're going to be busy. And with that, we turn to Brady Halb Live. We've seen some snow in Placerville already. Brady, how's it looking out there? Yeah, I'm in downtown Placerville right now, and it's been on and off snow flurries throughout much of the day. And although it's not sticking, there's a lot of people out just enjoying the whole experience. <laughs> He's going to be on the news tonight. He's going to be on the news. Resident Amber Stan is experiencing snow in downtown Placerville for the very first time. It's been fun. I mean, he doesn't love it, but I do. I think it's fun. <laughs> Recently moving here from the Bay Area, she was. I wasn't sure what to expect during the winter season. I mean, I come from the Bay Area where this is a total anomaly. Pull off the road a little bit, sir. Highway 50 going up to Tahoe is anything but charming. Dangerous driving conditions at lower elevations prompting Caltrans to issue a chain control checkpoint just a half a mile north of Placerville. But that isn't stopping Shab Delgado from driving up to South Lake Tahoe. You just go slow, have your chains on, and you know, just white knuckle it, and you'll get there. Graham Shaw and his daughter Charlotte drove down the mountain this morning after a week of skiing. It was a whiteout, blizzard, pretty treacherous, snowing the whole time. Well, I was pretty cold, but I had like multiple layers on. Sierra at Tahoe Ski Resort decided to close at noon Thursday due to low visibility and high winds. Those conditions has PG&E standing at the ready to respond to outages, and the risk is even higher at lower elevations. You have species of trees. But aren't used to getting snow. And when the branches get loaded up, that can break off their branches and impact power lines. Even trees can fall over. <laughs> Meanwhile, Amber and her dog plan to hunker down over the next few days, but not before enjoying the snow while it's here. So I thought there'd be a lot more down trees and power outages and stuff, but so far it's just been charming. <laughs> At Placerville, uh, schools were in session today. However, they might have a snow day tomorrow. The school district tells me that they are going to keep a close eye on the roads tomorrow morning, guys. Yeah, Placerville is already a charming town. Add a little bit of snow and it's more charming. Brady, thanks.